The error known as headers already sent has been responsible for many a head being banged on the keyboard in frustration. I know, I've still got the scars from my early days of working with PHP. Let me show you what the problem is. It's not as common these days because of a change to the default configuration of most servers, but I think it's important to understand the issue and know how to deal with it. Clicking this button should redirect me to another page, but when I do so, I get this warning. Cannot modify header information. Headers already sent. And then it says it's on redirect.php on line 4. So let's go and look at the code in redirect.php. This is the file. You can find it in the chapter 8, 08 underscore 06 folder of the exercise files. And we're looking at line 4. And this uses the built-in PHP function header, which can be used, amongst other things, to send an HTTP header to redirect to another page. So that's what location is for, and it's meant to be sending us to other.php. Now, looking at this code here, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the code in the PHP block at the top of the page. So let's go back to the browser and see if the error message gives us any more information. It says in parentheses here, output started at, and then it gives you the absolute path to includes some file.php. Then that's followed by a colon and the number 9. That number is actually quite important. So let's go back to redirect.php. And if we look at line 3, we're including some file.php on line 3, and it's in the includes folder. So if we open the includes folder and then open some file.php, it's actually just a dummy file with a PHP code block containing only a comment. But look at line 9. That was the number in that error message. It's blank, but there's a closing PHP tag on line 3, and that's the problem. Even though lines 4 through to 9 are blank, they contain new line characters which PHP regards as output. And once output has been sent to the browser, PHP can't send the header to redirect the page, because you've guessed it, the headers have already been sent. It's not just new line characters. Any white space outside the PHP tags in a server-side include sends output to the browser, preventing the header function from working. There are two possible solutions here. One of them is to delete all of the white space outside of the PHP tag. So if we delete that until we're right up next to the closing PHP tag, that will work. The other one, which is recommended in the PHP Online Manual, is to omit the closing PHP tag if the file contains only PHP code. And this will prevent white space accidentally sending output to the browser. So let's remove that and we can actually put in those extra lines. If we then save, go back to the browser, and we need to use the back button to get back to this button here, and then click redirect to the other page, and this time the redirect has worked. I have to admit that I cheated slightly with the setup for this video. Let's go back to the editing program and see what I've done. Most PHP servers are now configured to buffer up to 4 kilobytes of output, allowing you to use the header function even if a small amount of output has already been sent. And what I've done here, I'm using an Apache server, so I've created a .ht access file, and this has set output buffering to zero. So I've killed off output buffering. The fact that you might be protected from the headers already sent error by output buffering on most servers makes it all the more important to understand what causes it and how to fix it. If you get an error message saying that the headers have already been sent, check the number after the colon in the error message. That's where the output was sent. And with server-side includes, the simplest way to avoid the problem is to omit the closing PHP tag, as I've done here in some file.php. It doesn't matter if you've got white space after the PHP code, if you don't have the closing tag, you won't be outputting anything to the browser before calling the header function. Also check that you're not using echo or print to output anything to the browser before calling the header function. Headers already sent 
also affects a handful of other functions, but the remedy is exactly the same.